भारतं भारतं धर्म अधर्म संघर्षण वन डे द्रोणा कॉल्ड ऑल हिज डिसाइपल्स एंड सेड प्रिंसेस योर एजुकेशन इज कंप्लीट द टाइम हैज कम फॉर यू टू ऑफर योर प्रेजेंट टू द गुरु will you give me the present i most desire in a single voice the princess replied we will give whatever you desire drona then said then go to panchala desha and capture drupada and bring him here that is the present i expect from you the belligerent princess took up their arms they mounted their chariots and hastened to panchala desha there was a sort of rivalry between the pandavas and the kauravas to fulfill the guru's wish the kauravas wished to make the present and please the master the pandavas had the same ambition duryodhana thought if both the pandavas and we go together and capture drupada we cannot corner the credit so he entered panchala desha with karna dushasana yuyutsu and others ahead of the pandavas the pandavas reflected well let us display our valor later and stayed outside the city the kaurava princess advanced slaughtering the panchala soldiers whom they saw on the way they tumultuously laid siege to the capital ahichatra Drupada mounted a splendid chariot and faced the Kaurava princes and their army. Arrows flew from either side. Drupada was valiant and a superb warrior. With his mastery of archery, he dumbfounded the Kaurava princes. His chariot sped in all the four directions and he sent forth thousands of arrows. The heroic Panchala warriors halted the Kauravas. They cut into pieces the arrows. which duryodhana karna and vikarna rained on them and with their own multitude of arrows they injured the kaurava army duryodhana and his companions had to accept defeat and flee after the kauravas had fled arjuna bowed to yudhishthira and said brother give me your blessings we four will fight with drupada overcome him and capture him and fulfill guruji's desire he then went to the battlefield accompanied by bhima and the twins he began to annihilate the panchala army with his sharp arrows mace in hand bhima strode into the division of the warriors on elephants and began to strike the elephants they fell to the ground like peaks of mountains falling to the blows of indra's vajrayudha and died elephant riders licked the dust bhima danced on the heads of the enemies like kala bhairava the soldiers of drupada were awestruck with arjuna's shower of arrows he forced satyajit the commander of the panchala army to retreat he guided his chariot straight to where drupada was and confronted him drupada's chariot disappeared under the arrows arjuna reined his soldiers were in panic when they could not see their king and fled in fear arjuna leapt into drupada's chariot and captured him then the pandavas returned to hastinavati with the captive drupada shouting exultantly arjuna threw drupada at the feet of drona Drona was in ecstasies over his disciple's achievement. He said to Drupada, "Drupada, do you remember me? I am your old friend Drona." Drupada stood with his head bent. Drona continued, "Drupada, I have defeated you through my disciple. That means your entire kingdom is now mine. You did not keep your word when the kingdom was yours." but i will give you half of the kingdom which is now mine the panchala kingdom to the south of the river bhagirathi will be yours the portion to the north will be mine i seek your friendship do you agree drupada was boiling with rage and humiliation but he had no choice he agreed 
Drona sent him back with all honor. Drona said, "Arjuna, your Guru Dakshina is matchless," and embraced him. He then chose Ahichatra for his capital and became the ruler of North Panchala.